Hey, what's going on guys? Oink here, and I'm bringing you some old school, nah, this game's not old school. Uh, this is some COD full gameplay that I was got the other day. Um, I was literally just sitting there like, hmm, what to play? And uh, I thought, you know, may as well give COD 4 a try. I'd, I'd heard that the uh, the servers were mostly back to normal, there was a lot less of the, um, you know, hacked servers and all the like. All of that kind of shit. So um, I gave it a go. Just want to play some free for all, and it went pretty well actually. Um, I think the only game that I didn't win was one that I joined in progress, and he was already on like 20 kills. So really, can't you can't blame me there. Um, but no, I was doing pretty well in these games. I think. I mean, in fact, what I've got here now is because uh, I had won both of these games. I mean, oh, given the uh, I'm I'm giving it away before I've even said it because um, I was you know winning quite quickly and also the kill limit only goes up to 25 in COD 4 free falls um, I actually have managed to squeeze two gameplays into 10 minutes which is awesome because it means you get to see double the gameplay in the same amount of time which is pretty awesome um, in this first one I'm using the MP5 silent uh, this is like one of my all time favourite weapons in, in Call of Duty series now with some reaction knives there I do actually play on um, on tactical, so I don't really know how I managed to stab that guy so fast, but it was beast anyway. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, uh, MP5 Silent, it's actually one of my favourite guns ever in, in Call of Duty. It's, it's such a cool gun to use. Uh, the, the thing I like about it as well is um, if you put the silencer on it, it actually changes the gun. Like, a lot of guns you just get a silencer added onto your weapon. This gun that I'm using, if you put the silencer on it, it is actually a different weapon. A lot of people don't realise that. It's called an MP5 SD. And um, and it's basically a silenced variant of the MP5. It's not a detachable silencer. It's actually got a built-in silencer. So if you look at this gun, and then you look at the standard MP5, it actually looks different, and the silencer looks different to other silencers on other guns. Uh, which I find pretty cool, because it looks kind of fucking sexy, especially with that red tiger on it. And uh, I'm a big fan of the MP5. And uh, yeah, so this is one of my favourite guns in Call of Duty. Um, I was really sad when they didn't bring it back for COD Modern Warfare 2. Um, it kind of is really weird that they kind of switched to the MP5K, because... Although that is also a fairly, you know, common usage gun in, you know, um, in armed forces, the MP5, this particular one, the MP5 and the MP5 SD, are the are basically the, you know, other than you know G3 and um, the M4A1, these are basically the weapons that, uh, or at least I know I don't know about US, but I know for a fact that British special forces do still use this as their you know the main gun that they use so it kind of surprised me that they switched to the mp5k instead of you know having this gun in which is uh, why i'm quite happy that the uh... well it's actually a slightly different variant but basically the uh, original mp5 is returning in modern warfare 3 which uh, will be pretty cool and it looks quite fun to use in the game in the gameplays that i have seen but um... but yeah on this oh you, you might be know it's been a while since i posted some call of duty 4 gameplay um, since then, ages ago though, but since then I have you know, got into a hacked lobby, I didn't do it deliberately, I just joined and it prestiged me straight away. Um, so I am like, what is it, 10th prestige? Um, I think on my original file I was like, what was it, 3rd um, prestige or something? I decided to stay there because I really like the emblem, and, uh, and also there wasn't actually any benefits to prestiging, so I thought I may as well start going for gold guns. Um, so all of the gold guns I actually got legitimately, I didn't actually get through the hack, although now I do actually have them through the hack anyway, so it's kind of a bit annoying for me. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's the situation. Um, these guys were actually not that bad, I mean, I played probably about two games with this lot and, and won them both and then switched lobbies and uh, and won some more games over there. And you know, I had a really good fun time playing Call of Duty 4. I've just not, I haven't been playing Black Ops in forever, I mean I've played, I got persuaded to come on, um, oh this is the end of game one by the way, um, finished that guy there, went 25 and 3, um, this is one of my favourite maps as well, Good. I do love this map, um, next gameplay 
is joining a game in progress. I think the dude in first is on seven kills when I join. It's on Chinatown, which is one of the DLC maps. Um, and I decided to use my AK-47. I don't think I have any attachments on this. Um, golden, like I said, this is actually a legitimate golden camo. This isn't, you know, from the hack. Um, so I am quite proud of it. <laughs> and it is fun to use. And I joined with the guy getting a helicopter. But I'm like, fuck that. I'm going for this anyway, and the helicopter goes for me, because by the time I join, I'm already in second place, so the helicopter is just aiming at me. Anyway, as I was saying, I haven't been playing Black Ops in a, in a good little while, other than, you know, I was persuaded just to come on, I've played a game or two, like, literally, like, two days ago, but other than that, I haven't been on it for about two and a half, three weeks now. Uh, and to be honest... Although there's the occasional bit where I don't really have a game that I, you know, I'm playing and I get a little bit bored, it has been much more s stress free. You know, I just Black Ops is just so frustrating. It's it just I just feel there's no need to play it just because it's just like ugh, boring, frustrating. Everything's just irritating about it. So I've been giving it a break and um, and playing COD 4 definitely. I, I had a lot of fun, so I'm probably going to hop back on at some point in the next few days. Um, maybe give you guys another gameplay, we'll see how that goes. Um, but, in any case, um, with this gameplay, I thought, although I was joining Game Progress, I thought I probably won't post this, because, you know, it's harder to win, but I did actually manage to catch up, and, uh, other than that first helicopter kill that I got killed by, uh, I did pretty well for the rest of the game, see, I get my helicopters there after, after dying once, um, and uh, it, it, with the thing with Chinatown is it's hard not to to camp only because I mean I wouldn't say camping but it's hard not to you know stay in one particular area purely because wherever you go people are spawning around you like the spawns in in COD 4 free fall are nuts like they you, you would just walk around a corner and someone would just pop up like you got to be on your toes 24/7 it's just I find it's hard just to reload sometimes purely because you know people are just going to be there somewhere around the corner so. Uh, and that was a shitty spawn, by the way. Look at that guy aiming at me as I spawned. So uh, that kind of sucked. But um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's hard not to stay in one area. But I did my best to run around, and he have already taken the lead with like having you know joined late, which was quite cool. It was actually funny. I was playing uh, after this game. Um, <laughs> got into this lobby, played about three games in a row. The first one I won, and a guy joined late messaged me at the end of the game saying you're in my spot and something like you know, you're going down or something and uh, oh that guy got turned on um the next game i beat him and then he messaged me again saying like you're dead or something and then he was winning for the whole game and i overtook him right at the end funniest thing guy got really pissed off but yeah that was um that was quite amusing but um but yeah i'm, I'm pretty happy that you know that there's not as much hacking and, and what not going on now because I did have a good time playing this, and uh, like I said, I hope to get some more gameplay out. I, I might go for, um, I didn't actually use the sniper at all, I didn't really fancy using a sniper, but I might tr see if I can go for some sniping gameplay. Uh, it is generally popular, you know, I do love using the sniper in COD 4, um, so we'll see how that one goes. Other thing I, I might want to talk about is, I had talked about doing um, like a, a sort of news show thingy. I might still do it, but I'm having second thoughts about it, just because, I don't know, it's it's a lot of work to uh, get that all done, and the thing is, I've started back at college now, uh, this is my final year, and, you know, I can't really slack off, because I kind of did that before, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the time to do it, but I'm going to have a think about that, and we'll see how it goes. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Like I said, COD 4, little double gameplay there. Uh, 25 and 5 was the final score in that second match. Other than that, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.